Welcome everyone and good morning. You know, when I woke this morning in Orlando, I found myself just filled with energy and curiosity about what we could do here together today. So I just want to get right to it. I am Saj Nicole Chonai. I am a business strategist, a confidential advisor to CEOs, a speaker, and an author. I work with top leaders and their boards, helping them to think about their hardest challenges, how we can create results today, and pave a path for sustainable and productive futures. So I'd like to start this afternoon by bringing something really, really big into the room. Now, I love this pumpkin. Her name is Freak 2. She weighs 2,009 pounds. She was grown by this gentleman, Ron Wallace, in the year 2012. So all of growing history to the year 2000 got us to 1,000 pounds, and 12 years later got us to 2,000 pounds. And in the early 1900s, the big pumpkins were like 400 pounds. And by mid-1900s, there were scientific articles written proving that you could never grow a pumpkin to weigh over a ton or a ton because it would collapse on itself. Scientific proof, not possible. Freak too, possible. So I called Ron up and I said, Ron, how'd you do that? And he said to me, well, you know, I could have never, ever have grown this pumpkin except that we're all connected. We're living in a time of an astonishing exponential leap in connection. And that connection is fueling a radical change in innovation. And we are seeing that inclusive connection is the fuel of a whole new world. Connectional intelligence is the human ability to combine people, ideas, assets, and resources, forging connections that create new sources of value, meaning, and breakthrough results. Now, connectional intelligence is innately human. Leonardo da Vinci was a connectional intelligence genius, so was Ben Franklin. And Ben Franklin, for example, of the many, many things he did, he was postmaster general of the colonies in the, like, um, 1770s or 60s, okay? And he devised a way for someone to get a message, check this out, from Philadelphia to New York with an answer back in 24 hours. And at the time, people were astounded that this was possible and they weren't sure it was a good thing for society. <laughs> do I love this? I could be in the camp of saying, why do we need to get a message from Philadelphia to New York and back in 24 hours, maybe that's not a good thing for society. I could, be, I could be of the camp, I'm of the age, where I could say, I'm not sure that all this tweeting and bleeping and constant on and all that, I'm not so sure that that's so good for us and what's gonna happen to humans. But here's the thing, it didn't ask me. <laughs> With more connection, we're touching more and more things that are different more different points of view, more diversity, more tension, more conflict. The reality is that the fuel of innovation has two strands, connectional intelligence and productive conflict. These are braided and inextricably woven together. So if you really want to create and win and win big, you actually have to harness both. So here are some of the questions that CEOs and boards that I'm talking to are asking. How do I find the outliers in my organization? And how would I make it safe for them to break the rules? What happens when everyone has access to all the world's knowledge all the time, seven by 24 knowledge, plays, videos, music? What happens? How do I capture the cognitive surplus of my entire ecosystem to work on things that really matter, driven not because I told them that it was their job to do it or I incented them with a bonus or whatever, but driven by their human desire to stand up and make a difference in these times 
that we all know we're living in. These are the kinds of questions that we need to turn and ask if we intend to lead. And the question I have is, do you have the courage, the wisdom, and the purpose to harness conflict and connection to create the future you really want? Because, my friends, the world, I, and really the world, we need you to go out and do just precisely that. Thank you very much.